Hi, this is Gordon from Young Legionnaire. You're watching Amplified TV. I'm backstage at Sonosphere Festival 2011 with Gordon of Young Legionnaires. How are you doing? Hello. Good. Now, um, what have you been up to? Have you just, just arrived on site? Yeah, slightly late due to this kind of crazy queue at the guest list, which is also where your bands are picking up all their passes. Okay. So I don't think they thought that through properly, but uh, yeah, we're, we're here and there's no rain right now. That's, that's a good start. Right. Now, for people who haven't heard of the band, you're basically one of, well, you were in Block Party Correct. and the Automatic. How did you guys both meet? Uh, you know, in the rock world, everyone knows everybody. But more specifically, Paul was doing a, a, a kind of collaboration record with his first band, who were called Your Codem is Milo. And I met him writing a song, basically, together. And... Uh, and that was kind of the blueprint for potentially doing more stuff at some point if we ever got free. Yeah. And we kind of got a bit more free. Yeah. And I made another record. Okay, now um, both know the Automatic and Spot Party have two different unique sounds. Right. Um, how, how, what was it like making music for those two, two different genres of music? Well, not two different styles of music. Well, I mean, Paul's pretty adaptable. He's... As I say, he was in bands before the Automatic. Um, he's kind of a consumer sort of professional, really, when it comes to sort of... You can tell he can just sort of... You know, he's, he's not glued into one way of working. He can just kind of, like, he's very adaptable. And so that's a, you know, that's a really good start with any, any kind of project. Uh, it, I mean, generally, it's just we... Between the two of us, we kind of bring you know separate ideas and we just sort of you know we find a way to mesh them together okay yeah now um, yeah, you're playing on Sonic Sphere a little bit later on yes um, what can fans expect from your set we're playing the heaviest set we can really today because we don't get well we don't tend to play you know our record is not all heavy in fact it, you know it's in places a lot more melodic and, and sort of light for want of a better word and we tend to you know mix it up but uh, today is is the heavy all the heaviest stuff including something brand new that yeah. we've not played yet and not recorded yet that's really heavy so yeah we're doing the, the kind of rock set the metal set almost. Yeah. And your album came out in May was it, was it yes. May yeah, yeah. Um, have you been happy with the reception it's got so far uh, <laughs> I mean, I didn't, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to complain, you know, when you make a record you just want it to be as good as you imagine it to be and, um, you know, don't sit pouring over kind of statistics, yeah. uh, you know, I think it feels in a way, because we haven't toured a lot, we are both, all of us, got other things on the go, um, but it still feels like quite early days in the UK and we haven't done headline shows really here at all yet, so... You know, it's still building for us, I think. Right. Now, uh, either in this band or your previous band, have there been any crazy or weird fan experiences you're, you're willing, willing to talk about on camera? Well, I met a guy about uh, six weeks, two months ago, who had a tattoo of me on his side. And that's probably the weird. question that we ask all bands mm -hmm. is what would be your, your dream festival lineup this can include bands past or present how many do you want as many as many as you 65? want 65 go as long as you want hand you a tape <laughs> oh well that's that's a tough one um i mean i think oh, i haven't been to many festivals this year i, I, I would be refreshed i mean i'd watch Queens of Stone Age any day of the week anywhere they're great at festivals uh, it's where do you start um, I think Primal Scream Circuit Exterminator um, Early Idlewild In the Rain um, Queens of Stone Age I feel put on the spot. 
I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't, yeah, I didn't really prepare for this one. Uh, I, I should be able to think of someone really obscure. Uh, battles. Uh, yeah. Surely yourself, you're, you'd pay. I don't know if I would, to be honest. You know, you'd be too busy doing press and, and, uh, and loading in and stuff. You don't know, do press, I'm not doing press today. It's my festival, I'm not yeah. doing any press. I'll do all the press the day before. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to see some bands that I nearly saw when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, at the drive-in, who's the top of their hair I saw from outside the tent in 2000. Yeah. Uh, Death from Above, who've just come back and, you know, always sound huge. Yeah. Um, you know, there's more if you want them, but it'll be slow getting there. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah, what, what advice would you have, to, uh, would you give to bands just starting out and wanting to get it, you know, to to playing stages at festivals or play, supporting major rock acts, how, how would you say, what's the best way to go about it? I think you've got to start with as good a record as you can make. Okay. What comes after that is subject to kind of chance and it's who you meet along the way and the people who are kind of something for you. Um, you know, you've, you've got to make the record that is as good as and, and kind of stay true to the vision of your own record really yeah um, I mean you know I've seen it from different angles you know I've, I've been a, a band you know quite high on a on a big stage like this and uh, you know the, we're playing kind of halfway up the bill on the, some of the tents on uh, with this band it's you know there's no formula I think it, you, you've just got to make the music that you want to do and if it's believable and it and it has something original, people will come to it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and finally, um, after Sonosphere, what what stuff have you got coming up? Um, I mean, we're not super busy this summer. We're working on a new EP actually for the for like the autumn. Um, so we've kind of been in the studio. We're at Reading, which is nice. Um, and the next thing we're doing is a little festival in Sheffield called Tramlines. Okay. So quite looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's brilliant. Thanks for your time.